On my handle business. It's 600 big body and it's tinted. Just to handle business. Purpose says they got me in my feelings. I try that range rover like it's rent. Hit them in the face. Play turn state. Gotta beat the case. We gon' fuck your bait. We gon' beat her face. What's going on, everyone? Um, haven't posted in a while. Um, uh, just been held busy and stuff with work and everything, and haven't really done much with the Falcon. Um, probably gonna do some tomorrow, so I'll have a video up. Um, just working on Luxy at the moment, because um, at the moment it's been getting a bit hot. Um, the viscous hub fan put, uh, clutch isn't working very well anymore. Um, I can literally start the engine and like grab the fan and it will it will just continue to I can hold it while it's spinning so the clutch is shit you can um, repack them with this certain grease you get from Toyota but I end up buying um, I end up getting a new one and I also upgraded the fan to a 10 blade I think these ones are about 7 so I'm gonna just um, I'm gonna pull it apart and um, yeah Gonna do a fan, bit of a fan upgrade at the same time because it keeps getting around 100 degrees on the highway, 95 ish. With the aircon, it gets up nearly to 100, so I need to um, I need to start to fix that. Um, yeah, so I ended up getting a new clutch and a new fan, so yeah, we'll fit them in and should be right. Righto, so here's a new clutch. And here's a new fan, it's a 10 blade. You can obviously tell it's a little bit stiffer to roll, like it's very stiff this one. So that's good. It'll lock up a bit better. The bimetallic spring looks good and everything, so it's a brand new one. And we've got a brand new fan. You can replace this one in here. This old shit one. So yeah. Also, another thing. The focus literally within like two weeks of owning these rims. Uh, the I've got some photos I'll add into it, but um, the car got ran into literally two weeks of having the rims on. Um, scratch the whole face of this rim and damage the bumper and push this whole guard in here. Um, so got that all fixed now. So that's all right. But um, yeah, so that got damaged. So, also the focus is not in action at this point. Um, the exhaust manifold, uh, sorry, the turbo dump um, gasket blew out of the dump pipe and um, one of the bolts are seized in there, so I've got to try and heat up the bolt and remove it before two in, within a week because I'm going away, so, um, yeah. Anyway, so yeah. Got to fix that, got to fix the dump uh, gasket on the back of the dump, and then I got to put the fan on this and I got to get the Falcon, um, got to get the Falcon back together on the interior and wipe the boost gauge, I haven't done, I've been telling everyone I will. Yeah, I'm going to get this thing back pulled apart and, um, yeah. Also, if the camera isn't focusing properly, it's because I've smashed out the, the glass in the camera by accident. So, if it doesn't focus that well sometimes, it's because it's, um, yeah, it's got damaged, um, and I had to peel all the glass out of the back. Anyway, we'll start doing this shit, getting this fucking fan out, and yeah. Right, so I got her out. I just moved the shroud out of the way because I didn't have to take the hose off because then I have to bleed it up. Fucking try not to fuck me new tattoos up, and my tattoos are peeling, and I'm scuffing them so bad at the moment. But yeah, don't want to fuck them up. Yeah, here's the here's the um, original fan. Um, this thing fucking focuses. Come on, come. On. Here's the original fan. Seven blade, and that's the ten blade. Um, the clutch in this one, just like you can move it, but once you once you move it a fair bit. Um, becomes really easy to spin. And biometallic spring stuff on it, I'm guessing. And this is a new one. Your clutch. Stiff as, like... And it's not given, so it's good. So I'm just going to swap the bolts over on these two. 
take the bolts out of this one, pop it on this one, and then, um, yeah, it should be on our way. Righto, new fans in. It's pretty close. Just there, but... Should, should be right. It'll wear itself away if it needs to. Hopefully we don't grind too loud. That seems to flow a lot nicer, pull a lot more air. I'll take it for a drive and I'll see how it goes. Right, now that's done. Um, Falcon needs a battery. I got mine replaced under warranty because it was only six months old and I fucked up. So I got a new battery for it. And also, by the way, guys, if any of you want a turbo manifold, I'm uh, making them. That's my flange there. Got to make it for someone at the moment. Um, I'll be making log manifolds. Um, I will just message, leave a comment, and I'll get back to you. I'll give you some details to contact me. I'll be making um, cold air intakes for the Falcons. I'll be doing um, intercooler kits for the Hilux, and I'll also be doing um, turbo manifolds for E series from EA to AU, or oh, sorry, EL, AU as well. They still fit. Um, yeah, so I'll be doing log manifold, steam pipe, MIG welded with gas, and T3, T4 flange, either whatever you want. So I'll make the manifolds and you just tell me if you want them high mount, low mount, and I'll sort all that for, out for you. Um, the first couple I sell are going to be $50 off yet. Um, so, yeah, so if you want to get a manifold made up, I'll have videos soon of me making them when I get my new welder. And, yeah, so message me when you want a manifold done, or if you want one, or know someone that does want one, I'll make his manifold up so yeah anyway um that's just another thing so keep that in mind I was just in the Falcon, just put the ECU back in, just wiring up the boost gauge and um, yeah. So I'll wire that up now and then I will um, I'll, uh, get back to once I've got that fucking wired in. And silly me, I accidentally blew a fuse and I don't have that style fuse, so I'm just going to use two spade connectors and put like a 10 amp fuse in between it. So I'm going to cut this out, I'm going to um, put two connectors in and wire up the gauge, run a fuse. Righto guys, you won't be able to hear me, but um, we are grabbing a drink real quick. Lush. Um, so, I didn't think my last video 
fuck, hold on. CC, Canadian Club. Oh, hold on. Yeah, some on holidays, yeah? From today onwards. Um, it's raining so it's hard to hear. Um, the last video I did, I didn't think it would be enough um, video for it, uh, to even upload it. So, that's the video of me doing the hub, the, the fan hub. Um, I also did um, new battery in the EL, wired my gauges up, everything like that. So, today, it's finally come in the mail. I'll just switch the camera around and I'll show you what I've got. Johnny Danger. <laughs> right, eh? So, this is my new MIG uh, MMA uh, TIG and stick. It's a scratch start um, MIG gas and, um, sorry, uh, TIG welder. Comes with a trolley. Um, yeah, so. I've got a bit of a plan at the moment. Um, I'm going to start making uh, log manifolds, T4, T3, whatever flange you want to run. Mid mount, high mount, low mount uh, manifolds for the E series from EA 4 litre um, 3.9 to the AUs and ELs. Um, yeah, so I'm going to unbox this thing, set her up. I'm going to start doing them, and I'm also going to start doing um, intake manifolds for, uh, sorry, intake pipes for the NAs. And sorry if my camera doesn't focus properly, it's just because I smashed the lens out of it. So, I'm just going to pop the bonnet and show you guys what I'm talking about. So what I'm talking about is I'm going to be making from here all the way around in long or short uh, length, goes all the way there to there to your airbox. So this also works for boosted setups like mine, but I can do two options. Um, from here to here, you get your two silicone pieces, you get your four hose clamps. Um, you won't have this mount because it's gonna be sitting on an EL. I might make another mount to this bolt. Um, you get that mount welded on um, and connect it into your airbox. So you got the three inch stainless um, welded and I can do it in two ways. Shorter, so out, straight in, not over the exhaust, or the long one. Um, so, yeah, I'll be making them up soon. Message me for, pro oh, sorry, for pricing. Um, I'll also be doing turbo manifolds. So, it's all to, this, all this shit here. So all this I'm doing is to help you out with boosting your own cars. Um, I'm also actually, when I get more into it, get a few more people like, in, into buying it, I'm gonna have a full E-Series turbo kit, which, I mean, like, this will be um, inject, like, this is, we'll do it two ways. We'll do the whole kit and a half kit. Half kit will be direct bolt-ons for intercooler piping, so you'll get every single um, piece of intercooler piping welded together. So I'll tell you exactly where to cut the holes, exactly where to um, mount the mouth and there's going to be no drilling for the mounts but one maybe one spot i think everything's going to bolt up to the original holes on the car so you're going to get an inner cooler inner cooler piping a full inner cooler kit so that's full inner cooler kit um you get everything so all the pipes will just go straight on there'll be no having to think in your head like i did and how to make it you'll be it'll all be there you know what I mean? Like, all the intercooler piping will all go on. I have instructions, I have it marked how it's meant to go. Minimal um, connectors, so it's all just going to be bolt on shit. There's no bolt on kits like that for E Series, I'm pretty sure there's not. There may be a few from, a, from other, some other companies. But anyway, so, yeah. So, I'm going to be doing dump pipes, everything. But the full kit will be turbo, probably eBay turbo. Or you could do a Garrett, but I'd just say eBay. Um, you get um, you get you get um, this pipe here, pod filter, turbo, inner cooler piping, inner cooler, injectors, um, catch can, 
also you get um, surge tank or the pump itself um, and then I'd recommend you guys to a tuner that I use but yeah apart from that like, you have everything there everything the turbo E series won't be cheap um, and legit I won't be making much money off it but I'm just trying to help people out do this shit dude because it is a cunt it's, it's literally just a turbo car it isn't as easy as everyone says man it's it's there's more shit to it than everyone thinks that bottle turbo and it's gonna run it ain't gonna run man it ain't gonna fucking run it won't run trust me um and then i'm also going to be doing um once i start selling these manifolds and legit i'm making these manifolds my first manifold i'm making um i'm doing the log manifold i'm pretty i want to be selling them for 450 yeah Literally it cost me like 200 and something dollars to make it. That's like, actually no, I lied. I can't remember how much it's gonna make, cost me to make it, but literally I make like 110 bucks, dude, literally. I'm not, try, I'm not making a killing out of it, but I'm making them. I'm, that, that, that is just bare part, like that is all the, the flanges and the pipes, legit. That's not including my gas, my, my welding wire, electricity, um, paint, that's and that's no labor i'm not making much on them so i'm not trying to rip cunts off or make dodgy parts i don't make much money on them dude so yeah so if you want to do it order me uh, uh message me i'll message you with my um phone number and um facebook so you can get in contact with me and we'll organize your manifold or whatever you need i'll i'll fab it up so yeah, um, so I'm gonna unbox this shit. I've only got a few minutes left on my phone worth of memory. Um, so I'm gonna unbox this stuff and set it up and we'll do another video then. So I'll be in another couple seconds and then I'll be back to you. So I've got me um, Argon regulator for my gas in here. Got some fittings right there. Got me gas regulator. Um, oh. and I just dropped something so I got that I got a 5 kilo spool of um, wire uh, I got a new helmet gotta build that still uh, I also got the unit itself I got the um the trolley but I'm gonna build that another day. I've got a set of free MIG pliers. Um I've got my here's my handle. So yeah that's the new gun. Feels nice, nice trigger. So yeah. Got me gun, got me gas line. Um, I've also got here is a, my earth lead, my stick, uh, torch, um, yeah, so that's it. Anyway, um, cause I've only got, um, about three minutes left on this, um, fucking phone. I'm probably going to end the video there, but I'll probably be doing, um, updates on the channel every second day for the next two weeks, so... You get lots of videos out there, um, heaps of videos on making these manifolds and stuff, eh? So, yeah. Anyway, I'll give you one last look at this um, MIG um, before I go. But then, yeah, I'll catch us probably in the, yeah, two days or so. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Remember to subscribe. Message me if you want any. Um, message me if you want anything made. Um, yeah. So subscribe, share it. Just keep watching my videos. It's great to see people actually. Um, sit down and actually watch what I make so it's not a waste of money it's not a waste of time so anyway um yeah get my black license in under a month I'll be driving this bad boy around making lots of videos um I'm gonna have also um when there's an engine problem we're gonna do full engine rebuild step by step video full engine rebuild um it's all gonna be aftermarket bits when I save up um full gearbox rebuild and diff and diff uh, and I'm gonna be doing a clutch soon so gearbox and clutch will be like the next couple of videos so I, once I get this on the road, as soon as the school holidays are over and I can drive without getting defected, 
I'm doing clutch straight away um, and then painting the gearbox, putting the gearbox back in um, and then I'm also going to be doing the diff full instruction. Never seen a video on the internet, a full instruction video on how to rebuild a 78 series, same with the 75, 75 and 78 series um, Falcon diffs, exactly the same. Now the video on how to do 70, um, nine, uh, 70, 70, um, 8 series diffs, full how to shim them, um, crust sleeve, everything, bearings, how to rebuild one, and a gear set change. So um, yeah, so keep in tune for them. I'll have step-by-step -step videos. It won't be one big video, um, but I will do step-by-step. -step. Um, yeah, so and link them all together so you have an idea how to rebuild them. So anyway, um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Um, I'll catch you around. Um, yeah, so subscribe, like, share, show your mates, and um, I'll get back to me, mate. Catches.